hi everyone to my uh, assembly level language tutorial now in my previous movies I have told you would be working with three things actually in assembly language programming these are instruction and the data and to store them in some places these are registers now registers are the very fast memory access units to work uh, working with uh, our data now inside this the data will be generally resized in binary form and we have only this thing to store our contents so and they have a size so we'll be working with them so you will you have to have a nice um, you know, idea of how they are now let's take them one by one AX is for the accumulator register bx is for the base register cx is for the counting register and dx for the data register then we have instruction pointer register then we have stack pointer base pointer um, source index destination index and so many uh, registers you will get now the size of the register uh, in a 32-bit processor of the ax this uh, whole yellow part is 32 bit and that 32 bit is further divided into uh, two parts one is the higher part one is the lower part lower part starts with 0 to 15 bit and the higher part starts with uh, 16 to 31 bit and this thing continues for all the registers out here and there is certainly a special uh, uh, register is there that is a 16 bit then some uh, in some cases some microprocessor have 32 bit status flag so they they don't work as a single register uh, we would be just only concerned with one single bit of it uh, say overflow direction interrupt trace sign say uh, let's give you an example say zero so in that register if this bit is set so we consider our previous operation has produced a zero if it says to one uh, um, so this means uh, our previous operation will produce a zero if it's clear means it is zero so uh, it has produced a non-zero result and this thing will be very much useful so get used with these things and as long as we will start coding from the next video you will have a nice idea how to do it what to do it uh, with these things but these are the basic things you will be working so remember instructions that you have to remember something like add sub mall and data um, these are maybe hexadecimal maybe mm, our decimal system and the register where you store them and you operate on them now this register are essential because the CPU cannot work with memory location so the CPU cannot work with the data within the RAM so if they have to process data the data have to be bring into the register then it processed and after pro within the registers and after the processing the data goes back into the memory in the RAM itself and when you want to transfer the contents of the RAM to the hard disk then the CPU takes the data so them in some register and from those register it sends back to the hard drive and on so this is quite it is for our theoretical uh, you know foundation of assembly language so from now on we can get starting but let's take a nice uh, review of what we have really done uh, throughout our previous videos so what is assembly language it's a low-level language and uh, blah 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 you can get and then what computer understands one and zero said so what we understand that is add and sub and next what to use you know I'm using a Linux you can use Windows whatever you like to but use add and sub then assembly language is the only thing that uh, talks directly to the hardware and the language is not portable remember so this is it and this is how the system is organized you can see and finally our crazy registers uh, thank you for watching those videos and uh, next from the next movie I'll be going for the coding uh, and thanks for watching